Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Ectopic Pregnancy Introduction An ectopic pregnancy is an abnormal pregnancy that starts outside the uterus. Around 1% of all pregnancies are ectopic pregnancies. Ectopic pregnancies are not successful and the fertilized egg will not develop into a baby. Ectopic pregnancy is a serious medical condition that can lead to complications and even death if not detected and treated. If found and treated early, it is possible to have future healthy pregnancies after an ectopic pregnancy. This program explains what an ectopic pregnancy is. It discusses the causes, symptoms, and risk factors. The program also covers how an ectopic pregnancy is diagnosed and how it is treated. Anatomy The female reproductive organs are located in the pelvis between the urinary bladder and the rectum. The female reproductive organs include the ovaries, the fallopian tubes, the uterus, the cervix, the vagina. The ovaries have two main functions. The first is the production of specialized hormones such as estrogen and progesterone. These hormones are important in regulating the second function of the ovaries, ovulation, or the release of eggs needed for reproduction. These hormones also prepare the inner lining of the uterus to proceed with a pregnancy. When an egg is released, it goes down to the uterus through the fallopian tube. If the egg is not fertilized, the egg and the inner lining of the uterus are discharged to the outside of the body during the menstrual period. If a pregnancy happens, the fetus stays inside the uterus until delivery. The uterus is able to increase in size to accommodate the growing fetus. Ectopic Pregnancy An ectopic pregnancy is when a pregnancy starts outside the uterus. This is an abnormal pregnancy and the fertilized egg cannot grow into a healthy fetus. In most cases, an ectopic pregnancy happens when a fertilized egg attaches in one of the fallopian tubes. But in rare cases, ectopic pregnancies can happen in an ovary, in the fallopian tube, or in the cervix at the lower opening of the uterus. In rare cases, an ectopic pregnancy can happen in the abdomen. Rarely, an ectopic pregnancy may resolve on its own. In other cases, the fertilized egg will keep growing in the fallopian tube. As the growing cells develop in the fallopian tube, it can cause the fallopian tube to burst. This is an emergency and can cause major internal bleeding. A burst fallopian tube can be deadly. Urgent medical care can successfully treat a burst fallopian tube if measures are taken right away. The earlier an ectopic pregnancy is treated, the better the chance for healthy pregnancies in the future. Many women who experience an ectopic pregnancy can go on to have normal pregnancies in the future. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute. www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Causes Often, ectopic pregnancies are caused by a condition that slows or blocks the movement of the fertilized egg as it moves from the ovary to the uterus through the fallopian tube. Scarring may block a fallopian tube and may cause the fertilized egg to get stuck. Scarring can happen because of a previous infection of the fallopian tube. It can also happen because of a previous abdominal surgery or a previous ectopic pregnancy. Hormonal changes can slow the movement of the egg. Smoking can also affect the movement of a fertilized egg. Symptoms It is important to find an ectopic pregnancy early. 
This will save the life of the mother and will make it possible to have normal pregnancies in the future. An ectopic pregnancy starts like a regular pregnancy. There are no special signs for it in the early weeks. Like any other pregnancy, an ectopic pregnancy starts with a missed period, nausea, fatigue, and breast tenderness. A pregnancy test will be positive. A few weeks after her last period, the pregnant mother may see light vaginal bleeding, abdominal pain, or cramping pain on one side of the pelvis. Schedule an appointment to see your healthcare provider if you notice such signs. These can be signs of other problems too. An ectopic pregnancy can cause a fallopian tube to burst. This is a medical emergency that is life threatening. Signs of a burst fallopian tube include severe stabbing pain in the pelvis or abdomen, severe vaginal bleeding, shoulder pain, intense feelings of pressure in the lower abdomen and rectum, and feeling the need to have a bowel movement without being able to do so, weakness, dizziness, or fainting. Seek medical attention right away if you have symptoms of a burst fallopian tube. Risk factors Many of the women who have an ectopic pregnancy do not have any risk factors. Also, there are women with risk factors who never have an ectopic pregnancy. The majority of women who have an ectopic pregnancy have experienced inflammation or infection of the reproductive organs. Scarring or tubal problems that remain after the inflammation or infection goes away raise a woman's risk of having an ectopic pregnancy. Some examples are PID and other STIs. A previous ectopic pregnancy increases your risk for having another one. This is because previous ectopic pregnancies can cause scarring of the fallopian tube. Becoming pregnant at an older age also increases the risk of an ectopic pregnancy due to hormonal changes. The risk of an ectopic pregnancy is raised if a woman smokes. Having fertility problems may raise your risk of an ectopic pregnancy. Medications that cause ovulation are sometimes used to treat fertility problems. These medications increase the risk of ectopic pregnancy. Structural problems with a fallopian tube also increase the risk of ectopic pregnancy. Examples of structural problems are having an oddly shaped fallopian tube or a fallopian tube that was damaged. Some contraception may increase the risk for ectopic pregnancy. An intrauterine device called an IUD or a permanent birth control called tubal ligation can increase your chance of having an ectopic pregnancy. Pregnancies are rare when using these types of birth control, but they may still happen. Endometriosis may also slightly increase the risk of ectopic pregnancy. Endometriosis is when the tissue that normally lines the uterus is found outside the uterus. This can also cause scarring. Diagnosis Your healthcare provider will review your medical history and symptoms. Your blood pressure and pulse will also be checked to make sure they are not too low. Low blood pressure can be a sign of internal bleeding. A pelvic exam is usually performed to check for a mass in the fallopian tube or ovary, but a pelvic exam is not enough to diagnose an ectopic pregnancy. Your healthcare provider may check for abnormal fluid behind the vagina. The cervix is lifted slightly so your healthcare provider can insert a needle through the wall of the vagina into the space behind it. The needle takes a sample of the fluid for testing. An ultrasound can show an ectopic pregnancy. It uses sound waves to create a picture of the internal body structures. A transvaginal ultrasound is usually performed to see the internal reproductive organs better. This type of ultrasound uses a wand inserted into the vagina. If you have symptoms early in the pregnancy, an ultrasound may not be able to confirm an ectopic pregnancy right away. Usually by the fourth or fifth week after conception, an ultrasound can rule out or detect an ectopic pregnancy. If it is too early to use an ultrasound, blood tests can tell whether or not a woman is pregnant. Your healthcare provider can monitor your condition with blood tests until an ultrasound can be used. Blunt tests can also show whether there is internal bleeding or an infection.
Hormone levels that may be affected by pregnancy can also be evaluated. Treatment Treating an ectopic pregnancy requires removing the developing cells of an ectopic pregnancy. These cells must be removed to save the mother's life and to make future pregnancies possible. Healthcare providers use medication if the ectopic pregnancy is found early and has not caused the fallopian tube to burst. The medication will stop the growth of the developing cells and dissolve existing cells. If medications do not work and the ectopic pregnancy is found early, surgery may be done through small incisions. This is called laparoscopic surgery. A small cut is made in the fallopian tube and a thin, lighted scope is used to look inside the fallopian tube. The healthcare provider can then remove the cells. A larger incision may be needed if the ectopic pregnancy has caused the tube to burst or a large amount of blood loss is a concern. Some or all of the tube may need to be removed. Future normal pregnancy may be possible through the second fallopian tube. Both medication and surgery will require follow-up visits with your healthcare provider. It is important to follow their instructions in order to improve your chances for future healthy pregnancies. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary An ectopic pregnancy starts outside of the uterus. Most ectopic pregnancies happen within one of the two fallopian tubes. Rarely, ectopic pregnancies can happen in an ovary, the abdomen, or cervix. An ectopic pregnancy is an abnormal pregnancy that will not be successful. The fetus cannot grow outside the uterus. Early signs of ectopic pregnancy are light vaginal bleeding, cramping on one side of the pelvis, and lower abdominal pain. See your healthcare provider if you have such symptoms to find out the causes. If not treated early, the fertilized egg will grow inside the fallopian tube and cause it to burst, which can be deadly. Some signs of a burst fallopian tube are severe abdominal pain, shoulder pain, and severe vaginal bleeding. Seek emergency medical attention if you have these signs. Treatment options for ectopic pregnancy include medication to remove the developing cells. If medications do not work, your healthcare provider may recommend surgery. This may involve taking out the fallopian tube. Normal pregnancy may still be possible in the future through the other fallopian tube. Surgery may be done through small incisions. This is called laparoscopic surgery. A larger incision may be needed if the ectopic pregnancy has caused the tube to burst or a large amount of blood loss is a concern. Thanks to advances in medical technology, it is possible to find and treat ectopic pregnancies early and to increase the possibility of future healthy and normal pregnancies. Thank you for using Explain.